Hello and welcome back to DMXZ Play Psychonauts. In the last episode, we finished off Gloria von Guten's head and got the claw for our costume, in addition to spending like eight minutes looking around for Psychor. That, of course, is in Edgar's room, which I actually was avoiding. I had to look that one up. Because I don't want to miss the Psychor, because look! I'm already rank 76, so close to my goal. Anyway, in this episode, we are going to take on Fred Bonaparte. Excuse me, sir? My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Mr. Bonaparte. Shh, I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not think. listen to the weekly. He denies his lineage because oh. he feels it. I like your jacket. Very strappy. You want it? Oh. You can have it. Just help me undo these buckles in the back and all. Can... What are you doing? The uniform of this army is sacred. We shall wear it proudly and Oh, that. The I, I kind of skip over some cutscenes, so they actually. They actually kind of, um. Don't. Uh. Make sense to me sometimes. I forgot oh, why he would give the jacket. Shut up, Crispin. Anyway. Also, some more good news. I actually got a new mouse. See, I can oh, rotate my camera, which works. I like your jacket. Very strapped. Okay, so that's all he says. Actually, just like ten seconds ago, messed this up and forgot to, to talk to him. But whatever. All right, Fred. It's just you, me, Suck and Napoleon Bonaparte. He thinks he's Napoleon. And I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this world. More so just because of the layers it has. And I'm actually going to be good and I'm going to do everything in a relative order that you're supposed to. Hey, it's Napoleon. Alright. Honeycombs. Anyway, before we actually go and get started, you might be like, is this it? This is a very tiny world. But there's a world out there. Oh, this get This gets more complicated than what it looks like. Alright, so we're gonna smash things, collect. Actually gonna be good. Ooh, an apple. I like apples. Whoa. And there's something in the fire, but we're not gonna grab that just yet. Ooh, I could punch them. Sweet. Okay. Anyway. Oh, there's a figment over at the table. Oh, sweet. Okay. Anyway, Fred. Hey, Fred. What are you doing in the straitjacket in your mind? Can't you be free? Who's winning? Nobody's winning. Want oh, they're playing a board game. The Bonaparte family name. Look, I forfeit. Okay, you win. Napoleon Bonaparte wins again. Is oh, that really? The real Napoleon Bonaparte? I mean, the imaginary <coughs> real Napoleon Bonaparte? You make this complicated. Yeah, I'm actually related to him. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, Shut I up. can. Stop telling people that simple fact. I don't even want to be here. But when this sad oh, excuse for a Bonaparte dear. lost a simple game of war to a feeble-minded invalid, I just could not take it anymore. Okay. I was forced to take control, and I will stay in control until I beat the love of victory into this degenerate swan who dares to cut himself a Bonaparte. Oh, well, good. No, really great, 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 Granted, Napoleon, I do love victory, like, a ton. I'm not gonna bash anything so French. You can go now, I swear. I'm... Your move. I'm gonna be, hey, I didn't see that, like, ten seconds ago. I want that. Okay. So, back to going. Well, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I'll Who's talk to you. Now? Who do you think? Me. Okay. So we take this. Whoa. So this is like an onion, basically. We have three layers. This is the game What's board this? front. My lazy opponent is actually trying to win. He has sent in reinforcements. And it's, well, well, it gets kind of complicated. The game truly begin. We have three layers. Soldier. You oh, hello. That bridge for France. For France. Why, does, why does Napoleon Bonaparte's army you. hate bridges? Ah, I like bridges. Bridge. They make it so I don't ah, get wet. Yes. 
Now I shall torment this poor peasant over here. <laughs> oh man, now look. Oh. The bridge is broken and I can't move my pieces past it anymore. I quit. Napoleon, you win. No, we don't forfeit. Of We're course we don't. Mr. Genetic memory of Napoleon Bonaparte? Yes. <laughs> I like Blue your Napoleon. Your joie de vivre. Maybe you will teach my long-legged nincompoop a lesson, eh? <laughs> Hello. I like how he's compensating with the chair. Anyway. So. I have a love-hate relationship with this world. I think I started to like it until... I like it when we're... Okay, this is the only one place we can walk in water. Um, but I have a love-hate relationship with this place just because it kind of is weird. But we basically now have to win the board game. But you're asking, well, how the hell are you going to do that? You're so big. Well, there's another layer even further, but we'll get into that later. I'm going around trying to collect everything I can and not accidentally... So tell me the rules of this game. This reminds me of learning how to play all the card games that me, uh, MJ, Timixter, and Hanko play. And Chris RB. Granted, Chris RB really hasn't been in most of the videos on the account on the I'm Gonna Die Games account, but I remember trying to learn how to play Magic. Oh my god. So he'll also need a strong militia. It's simpler than playing Yu-Gi-Oh. But he has no militia. His people are hiding out in their houses. Hopeless, angry, and Yeah, if you get MJ Tim extra yeah. started on Yu-Gi-Oh, it's just like, oh man, so much Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge. They wouldn't be able to move around the board because I keep But thankfully, his this is less complicated. Hey, that is your fault. It could easily fix the bridges I keep breaking if he just had a carpenter. Basically what they're talking about is, is um, you need to get, get the carpenter to repair the bridge. So you see, it is an easy game, but Fred has already lost it. Not yes. this time. This time, we're going to win. No, we're not. <coughs> Fred, shut up. <laughs> I didn't realize you said Fred, shut up, because I usually don't. I usually just go straight into it. But what you have to do is, basically, he has a knight who's hiding in here, because he, his knight's a bitch. Anyway, he has to get the knight over into the, the other opposing castle, which I actually never really noticed where Christmas in this castle is. Easy. Stronghold stormed, game one. <laughs> oh, you have to storm the stronghold with your knight, you stupid fool. I'll just set you on fucking fire. Shut up. Okay, anyway. This can actually get very complicated very quickly. So you have this entire board to navigate. Well, first off, since Fred's not going to move his own pieces, we're going to move this away. I don't like it. Salt shakers can go die. You! Word to the wise, give up I like how you can talk to all the pieces. Fred's gonna win. <laughs> I can burn wood with my that would be how you say, uh, cheating. Hey, don't touch my pieces. That <laughs> is cheating. I'm just punching it because it mocked me. Anyway, so okay, this is actually one of the worlds where you. I'll explain one thing that I really don't like about this world. The one thing I really don't like about this world is um just all the monsters you have to deal with because this entire field once you get little yes we're gonna get little is covered with sensors well not like covered covered but it has a new type of sensor which I don't like and other stuff anyway we'll get small oops see there's sensors anyway we're actually where are you I know you're fucking out here Oh, wait, no. Okay, these are called- I call them snail sensors. They're kind of annoying. I only reason why I switched clairvoyance to the- I mean, my sidewalk to this is because I really don't like throwing them in the water. And I'm actually going-
I really don't like a throw. You can. There's only two ways to kill these guys, and that's throwing them in the water, and um, throwing them into water, and then actually like um, burning their fuse and setting it, making them explode. And I'm kind of gonna cheat a little bit and wander around here because I really don't want to be dicking around with the other crap I'm supposed to be doing. Um, basically you're supposed to talk to the carpenter be like, hey carpenter, get out of here, and he'd be like, no, and you're gonna be like, why? He's just like, no, what are you? And you gotta solve all their problems. Because that's what Raz does, he solves other people's problems. Of course. <sighs> but, the only thing I really don't like about this world is... And this is if you don't prepare for it. And you need to go as soon as you can to the stronghold. Because, um... It actually gets really complicated really quick. Actually, should I go on top first? No, the sensors won't fall me. And I hear that bag. But here's one of the gimmicks that I really like. When you're outside, you're out there with, um, when you're up on the top, you actually climb here and see that they're actually in there playing the game. <laughs> it's got really weird, a really weird player system. Hello, bag. I don't have your tag. Oh, I do have your tag. Alright, that was awesome. Okay, so, just, there, it's one of those things that you're not prepared for if... I'll explain it later, I'm kind of drawing a blank on what I want to explain. Oh no, there's sensors on my roof, they're being a little pain in my butt. Come on, click the saw, please, thank you. You know, those, those sensors actually can't climb down from the roof, they're just up there going, Hey! I'm gonna be annoying. Oh, I love having a new mouse. This makes it so much easier. Okay. Anyway, here. Carpenter, what's up? Hello in there. Any carpenters home? Go away, burglar. I'm not a burglar. I'm not a burglar, I just have a goggle. We're a little light in our core of engineers, see? We don't Listen, like engineers. I know you a burglar. I've been listening to your footsteps on my roof all That doesn't make any suit sense, dude. Why don't you just slide down the chimney? I got a nice fire going for you in here, Mr. Burglar. Oh, well, thanks. Okay, if I'm a burglar, then how can I be down here talking to you and up on the roof at the same time? Maybe you're a ventriloquist. Listen, if I go see what's up on your roof and take care of it, Will and they show you the path to the roof, which is lined with sensors. Maybe. Good enough. Okay. So you gotta go to his roof. So I'm just gonna kinda speed run over there. Oh hey, there's Oh screw you, sensor. Guess what? You can't hit me. I'm too fast. And I remember what I said earlier about um Aha, you can't cut me from down there. Um, what I said about, uh, monsters respawn points. What I love about this world, or well, which I actually do all the time, is I play this I play this particular world in one sitting. Just because, um, when you stop and save, all the monsters respawn. But... When you do it only this time, the monsters don't respawn, and I can easily go around and deal with everything at once. Granted, this world is actually the least complicated out of all of them, with the exception of me failing at things. Can I get that payment? Nope. <laughs> 